A 4,800-year-old ancient Egyptian genome has been sequenced by an international team of researchers. Let's break down this Egypt news. This study, which was published in Nature, is the first time that a full ancient Egyptian genome has been successfully sequenced, let alone for an individual who lived 4,500 to 4,800 years ago. This is the oldest DNA sample from Egypt to date. The remains belong to a man who was preserved without mummification in a pottery vessel within a mountain in Upper Egypt, dating to 2700 to 2600 BCE in the early Old Kingdom period. There will be images of skeletal remains in this video. The unique preservation method was crucial, as it maintained the cells in the teeth, which is where they were able to get the genetic material to sample. Besides the genome, this sample can help determine where the individual lived and their dietary patterns. He lived and died in the Nile River Valley and had visual markers on his arm, thigh, and foot bones, suggesting that he engaged in muscle-intensive work that required prolonged sitting. The scholars suggest that he may have actually been a potter. There was also a facial reconstruction completed by the Liverpool John Moores University Face Lab. They go off of markers on the face and the shoulders to be able to reconstruct the muscles and then what the face might have actually looked like. He was found buried at the Nuwa Yarit site in Middle Egypt, in a rock-cut tomb which you can see here. It was a small tomb with a small niche at the bottom to tuck the pot burial underneath. The tomb was discovered in 1902 by John Garstang, and shortly after transferred to the Liverpool Museum, which is where it still stands today. This project actually went about testing 94 ancient Egyptian mummies at the museum for their DNA. The genome, when mapped, revealed that 80% of this man's ancestry is related to the ancient peoples of North Africa, and about 20% are related to the ancient people of West Asia. Now, these numbers cannot be generalized or compared to other ancient or modern Egyptians, as it just represents this person's family lineage. This is still an up-and-coming field, so there are limited published genetic studies on ancient and modern Egyptians. More samples are needed to provide a more full picture. The article is fully accessible online for everyone to read, as well as a really great summary by Ahram Online, which is an Egyptian news source where I get a lot of my antiquities news.